everyone today I'm going to be showing you how to make a rain balloon rubber band keychain several people have wanted to know how to make this accessory so let's get into it to start off you're going to want to place your loom the way that the arrow would be pointing towards you and then take the middle base off you are going to want 34 rubber bands for your main color, which is normally black or white. For the other detail colors, pick two colors. And for one detail color, you are going to need 12 rubber bands. For the other color, you will need 9 rubber bands. Main color rubber bands will act as a side color and main color that will be repeated every other row. I am going to take my black main color bands and place three of them into like an A or an infinity sign shape and place a black vertical band on the side like this. After that, take a detail color and place them above the three black bands, but don't twist them like we did to the other ones. And place a black vertical band on the left side. Again, do a row of your main color bands, like I did to the pink bands, and place a vertical band on the side. And this is what it should look like so far. Now we can start hooking the bands. On the left side, with these three black vertical bands, take the bottom one and pull it over the three pegs that it is on. Pull it up and over to the other side. On the right side, take the bottom band with your hook and pull it up and over the other bands above it. Do that to all the three right side pegs. Now for the left side, it's a little more complicated. Make sure to put your hook inside the vertical bands here, which are the single black bands that go across the three pegs. Put your hook inside the vertical bands and reach for the bottom band on the peg and pull that band up and over the others. Do that same thing on the two other left side pegs. Then you have completed a row. To do another one, take the other color detailed band and do the exact same process as before. I'll go over it again because it's a little different since we have bands on already. Take the band and put it on the rows like so. After that, you can start the hooking process. To check before the hooking process every time you do this, make sure that, you, that there are three sets of bands for each row. Pull the bottom vertical band over on the left side and then do your right side pegs by pulling the bottom band up and over. Then do the left side by putting your hook inside those vertical bands and grabbing the bottom band on the peg and pulling that band up and over that peg. A way to help with the sequence of the colors is, is by figuring this out. If there is a main band, which in my case is a black band that is already on the peg, then you can put a detail colored band on to figure out which color of detailed colored band to put on. Look at the bottom third row of the pegs. And let's say in my case if that color was pink, then I'd put on a green band. If it was green, then I'd put a pink band on. If there's a detail colored band on the pegs, then you can put a black or main colored band on next for the next rows. No matter what the detail colored bands are, they are always sandwiched by a main color band. I hope this makes more sense now and it helped you out. If this is really confusing, this step, um, it's actually really simple. I'm just being really confusing and explaining it. I'm sorry about that. I will have these instructions, what I've said here, down below in the description box as well as basically a lot of what I said from this video so then that'll help you figure this out. So go ahead and check the description box down below for a bunch of the steps from this video. And then continue to finish the keychain. 
So now I've run out of bands on my rain balloon, so I'm going to finish it. By pulling the bottom vertical band up and over, pulling the bottom right side bands up and over, and by going in the vertical bands and taking the bottom band on the peg and pulling it up and over the left side. Now there are only two rows of bands instead of three. Do what exactly what you would do normally when hooking. Pull the bottom vertical band up and over, take the bottom band on the right side pegs and pull that band up and over the rest. And then go inside the vertical bands on the left side and take the bottom rubber band and pull it up and over. Now there's only one row of bands. Do the same thing by pulling the vertical band up and over and you then are left with this. Take your hook and use it to collect all the bands still in the pegs by going in and taking the rubber bands off. After you've done that, take a medium sized jump ring and put it in on the bands. Then close the jump ring up. And you can put a keychain on that jump ring. Now, if you guys didn't know, I have had an Etsy account for a while where I make these keychains and sell them. This listing has gotten pretty popular and lots of people wanted to know how to make these. If you'd like to check my personal Etsy shop out, then I'll have a link in the description box down below and the listing looks like this. My username is JustMeAZ for that shop. Or you can also click this circle right here to go to my Etsy shop. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment. It'll all mean the world to me. And until next time.